Hi, it's Clayton from Australian Direct Four Wheel Drive Outdoor and today we're going to talk about accessory sockets, power outlets, switches, all that kind of thing. And the reason why we need these things is if we've just got a battery, pretty hard to plug your cigarette lighter socket into it. It's got two battery terminals. I've got something with a cigarette lighter socket. I can't plug it in. It's also important with my battery to know the voltage. I don't know how much power is in this battery. I've got no display to tell me what the voltage is. All I've got is a battery and a couple of terminals. So what would be the simplest way to get myself set up so I've got some cigarette sockets and voltmeters and fuse protection, all that kind of thing? Well, the simplest thing to do would be to buy one of our battery boxes on the website. We've pre-wired this for you. All you do is connect the positive and the negative cable inside to the battery and then you get your USB sockets, you get your cigarette sockets, you get your Anderson plugs, you get your voltmeter. We've done all the work for you. It saves you having to do all of the wiring yourself. Let me just get the lid off of this. You can see that inside of this box we've done all of the wiring for you. Just come in a little bit and let's get uh, in close lates. Um, inside of the battery box we've connected all of the sockets for you we've put the circuit breakers, everything inside. So that's obviously the easiest way to do it. So there's our battery boxes and there's a video on the website about battery boxes and I do suggest you watch our ultimate uh, dual battery system video that's an hour long if you really want to learn about those systems and how to install them. But what happens if you don't want to buy one of our battery boxes and you want to do the job yourself? Well I'm going to show you the different options you have for connecting up to your battery and uh, you need a little bit of a basic 12 volt understanding to do that and there's some more videos on our YouTube channel if you want to learn more about wiring etc. So I've got my little light with a cigarette lighter plug. One of the easiest options to do would be to take our ring terminal to cigarette socket adapter, connect the ring terminal onto the batteries and plug my cigarette socket in. That's the most rudimentary basic way. If I wanted to put a uh, Anderson plug on, then I've got adapters that'll do that. There's a whole range of different adapters on our website if you just want to do things in a basic way or you want to have double adapters from an Anderson plug to two SIG sockets, um, one SIG socket to two SIG sockets. There's a whole range of those available on the website. The next step if you want to keep things reasonably simple is to go for our pre-wired uh, power boards. Um, so what we have is a range of power boards that have just got a positive and negative wire. You need to get the cable yourself and connect that up to the battery. This one for example, uh, there's a range of these, these little ones, they're the most cost effective ones. Um, they've got a fuse built in. You've got a variety of different sockets depending on the unit. Uh, and you've also got an Anderson plug. Now the cable comes out the back, but if you want to put that so you can flush mount it, you'll see you've got the mounting holes here. Um, if you want it to come out the side then you can make a hole in the side with your drill and run the cable out the side. And as I said there's a range of them. They've all got the voltmeter built in with the push button so you know the voltage of the battery, the fuse protection and the Anderson plug. But this one here you'll see has got two USBs for charging iPhones etc. This is a, a handy unit. It comes in two variations on the website. A little bit more expensive. Uh, but it can be flush mounted. You've got your voltmeter, USB, SIG sockets and it's got some switches and a, a reset button here. You can buy it on its own flush mount or you can buy it with this mounting panel. So you can mount the panel on the wall and you can see all of your outlets. You don't need to cut a recess for that. Another popular unit is this one from Baintech. Uh, you've got your SIG sockets, USBs, voltmeter. It's also got a low voltage cutout built in this which will protect your battery from being over having the power taken out hence why it's a bit more expensive and an on off switch on the bottom. This is really cool because you can actually mount it horizontally and just move the socket so they're sitting horizontally or you can put it vertically and you can even take the inside out flip it around and you can put it on the other side so great for the you know, back of a ute or the back of your four wheel drive you want to mount it up against the wall. This one in particular comes with its own little wiring cable but generally it's not going to be long enough so you're going to have to, for all of these, buy yourself some 4mm or 6mm cable to wire them up to your battery. And I always recommend running a fuse in the line. And we've got fuses on the website. Um, generally you want to have about a 15 amp fuse in line. Okay, so that's if you're not going for the battery box, it's the next best thing. All the wiring's done to the plugs and sockets. Next step is those of you who want to build your own battery box maybe or you want to put some plugs and sockets in your vehicle, you want to put a cigarette socket in the back of the car or, or something in the dash, maybe a voltmeter in the dash and you want to wire it up yourself. 
I'm gonna run you through the options that we have to do that, but you will need to, as I said, crimp on your terminals and that kind of thing. So let's get going with them. So you'll see here that we've got a range of little meters and sockets, etc. This one is a voltmeter, and you'll see on the back of it, uh, you've got a couple of terminals, one positive, one negative, and if you connect that to your battery, you'll get the voltage. If you wanted to turn it on and off, then you'd need to put a little switch in line. You'll see that we have a double USB. Now we've got two USBs, one's one amp and 2.1 amp. Uh, the older iPhones, iPhone 4 and your older phones, needed one amp to run, but nowadays you'll find you need 2.1 to charge tablets and the newer smartphones. So we're probably gonna phase that one out, so it's a bit cheaper, and we're going to move into the new one, which is two 2.1 amp, amp outlets, okay? So my preference would be for you to go for this one. Your cigarette lighter socket, we all know what that is. This is a cigarette socket with the flush mount panel on the front. So you'll see you can buy these uh, little uh, what do we call them, mates? Uh, surface mounts or flush mounts uh, panels that you can screw them into. Same thing there, that's just on there. And this one here is a volt and amp meter. Now we're gonna get a range of different, uh, over the time you might find that what's on the website will change. There might be some variations or even some little package deals where we put some together. Uh, so you can take these if you like and you can just drill a hole or make a hole with your, with your drill the exact same size as this and you can flush mount it straight into the dash or into whatever you want to flush mount it in. There's a little screw on the back here that you can tighten up and lock it into place. The other option is that you buy either what we call a surface mount, which means you don't need to drill a hole, or a flush mount panel. Now this is a single, so if I wanted to put it into the single, let's say I wanted to do the voltmeter, I take the little screw off the back they're reasonably tight, these screws, because we don't want them to come loose. Just get that off. And I won't tighten it up now, just to save time on the video. And we can mount it into the single. Or if we want to surface mount it and have a little surround, we've got the single surface mounts. You'll see it'll fit in there. But we've also got doubles and triples. So you can put three or two or one, whatever you want. And that's the same as the surface mount. Here's a surface mount we've made up with three uh, all set up inside. And you can get one, two, and three in these surface mounts. So what I suggest when you're on the website, if you want to buy uh, these units, you can either buy them on their own. Uh, we might have a package made up with some really standard configurations like a volt and a USB and a SIG socket, which you can just buy as it is. Or you can choose which surface mount you want. You might want a triple and then you can buy three of the inserts to go in. Now, I will note that all of the inserts come with one set, whoops, one set of spade terminals that will go on the back, so you can connect them up. If you are connecting three together, you'll need to link them together. Um, so I hope you've got a basic uh, electrical understanding to know how to join them together, otherwise we'll do a video on that later on. So these are the plugs and sockets. Always really important to have at least <coughs> pardon me, a voltmeter, um, a cigarette lighter socket, and USBs is my favorite. You can charge your phones, you can see the voltage of the battery. If you wanna learn more about voltage of the battery, look at our how to maintain your AGM batteries video, but critical that you know the voltage of the battery. So these are our plugs and sockets. I think all of you know Anderson plugs. Anderson plugs are my favorite connector in the world, and they're the, there's no male, there's no female, they just plug together. Okay, so you put your connector into your little terminals, clip them in, and you'll see them all over the website. So we sell them separately, and it's more for high-powered situations where you want it up to 50 amps. This is a new little device on the website. Let's say you don't want to go to the trouble of wiring up the voltmeter in the dash like you had to in the old days. You want a really simple solution. This is fantastic, I'm really excited. It's called our battery guard. Uh, and what it is, it's a little device that will connect wirelessly to your mobile phone, either Android or iPhone positive and negative on the battery you want to monitor, and you download the app, which is free, and you can get the voltage on your phone. So if you don't want to go for the little uh, voltmeter, absolutely great option. And you can monitor up to, I think, five batteries with this device, super duper. So that's all your plugs and sockets. 
Here we have a switchboard, which you'll also find. This is great, you can flush mount this uh, if you wanna have some lights that you turn on. So say you've got your, your four-wheel drive or your camper trailer, you could wire the outside lights to one switch. You could wire a pump to the next switch, etc., etc. Or you could even have a cigarette socket running through this switch panel so you can switch that SIG socket on and off. It's all pre-wired on the back. You connect positive and negative to it. The fuses are even built in underneath. Um, everything that you need in this little switch panel. Now I'm going through a lot here, but it's a quick video. Uh, if you want to link batteries together, we've got joining cables for linking two batteries together. Um, <clears throat> so they're in two different lengths. You choose your right length. We've got a new adapter on the website now, which is a couple of ring terminals uh, via a, a heavy duty fuse. This is an 80 amp fuse. I'll try and get it out. It's got a waterproof cover. Okay, I'm not going to fight with it, but the cover comes off. There's a, a fuse inside and that goes to an Anderson plug. So it's a really handy adapter as well. And there's a whole heap of other adapters on the website, all kinds of adapters. And we're changing them all the time. Our little watt meter, great little device as well. This will measure not only the voltage, but how many uh, watts or amps you're drawing from a device. So if you want to measure how much power your fridge is drawing or a light's drawing, you can buy this little watt meter, great value. Or you can all, a lot of our customers will measure how much power they're getting from a solar panel. Now, if you're going to be doing a job such as this, I definitely recommend getting yourself a set of these wire strippers. Um, we don't have them on the website yet, but you'll see them about, they're definitely my favorite wire strippers. I'll just show you quickly how they work. <clears throat> you put the cable inside and it will strip the cable so easily for you. So let's imagine we want to put this little fuse in line and we want to connect it up to uh, the voltmeter. Where's the voltmeter? See the little voltmeter? Here it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip the wire off. And I'll put my little terminal on. This is on the negative. You'll see this tool will crimp that terminal on. And then I'll strip the negative off. So you see what I'm doing on this. This is four millimeter cable that I'm using. This is what I suggest for all your little plugs and sockets. Um, and it's available on the website by the meter. So I'm just crimping these little terminals that are included on. You'll see now I've got a negative and a positive, and I can just look on the back here. You'll see one's got a plus, one's got a minus. Positive goes on the back. So I've got the positive and the negative in the back of the meter. Now I've got this bit of cable here. Okay, I want to connect this up to the battery. So once again, I'll strip the cable off. I want to put a fuse in line, so here's my little fuse. They're always joined together for some reason, so I'll cut that. Strip that off. Strip the end of my positive. I'll just do this quickly to show you how it's done. This is the most rudimentary way to do it, but it just gives you an idea of how to wire one of these up. Now I hope you take a bit more care than I am when you do it yourself. Don't be in a rush. So you can see where we're going with this. We got the positive and negative from the four mil cable. I put the fuse in line. The fuse is in line. Okay, you need to put a little fuse in. I'd suggest putting a 15 amp fuse in there. You can get it any electrical store. Then I need to connect a couple of ring terminals on the end. and onto the end of the fuse. And uh, my assistant, uh, Luke, has just um, brought me a spare fuse because I didn't have one here. Now we don't include the fuses with the fuse holders because 
you should have some in your toolbox anyway. Let's put that fuse back in because I rushed it. Okay, so I'm just going to finish making this up. And as I said, this is the most rudimentary way of doing it. So now I've made up a lead, positive and negative. I've run that down through the four mil cable, put a fuse in line. Now to get it going, all I need to do is connect the negative to the negative terminal on the battery and the positive to the positive terminal. Make sure you get it around the right way. It is really easy to do a reverse polarity connection. And I've been doing this for years and I still accidentally do it when I'm rushing. So always make sure that your positive is red is on red and black is on black. Because even a professional such as myself can do that by accident. Okay, so positive onto the positive, red onto the positive, black onto the negative. The last step's going to be to put the fuse in. So I'll pop the fuse in. There we go. 15 amp fuse I recommend. And there we go, we've got the voltage reading. So if say I wanted this in the dash of my car, I'd connect up via a fuse and insert this little meter into the dash of my car. Or, make it easier, you can go for the little wireless unit. If you don't want to do any of this wiring, as I said, We've got our battery boxes that are pre-wired. You can learn more about them by looking at portable battery systems on the website.